Hi, I'm Ryan Walker from the Sax Pro Shop here at Music Medic. Today I'm going to show you how to replace a flat spring. We're going to use this Wilmington Alto Sax and I'm going to replace the flat spring on this Palm D key. First thing we need to do is remove the key. My flat spring is this part right here. It's held in by this little screw. So I'm going to remove this little screw and remove my flat spring. Now I'm going to need to pick out a flat spring that's not only the same length, but about the same thickness. So you can see here I have a selection of Music Medic flat springs. I'm going to use this one right here. Not only is it the same length, but it's the same thickness as well. Before I install this flat spring, I'm going to need to use our Music Medic spring bending pliers to give it a gentle curve. Another important key detail is this end right here. I want to have this end flip up just a little bit. So for that, I'm going to use our Music Medic duckbill parallel pliers. And there we are. Now I can install the spring back onto the key. Before I reinstall the key back onto the instrument, I'm going to add a little bit of grease on this spot on the flat spring. For that, I'm going to use our Ultimax Pivot and Roller Lubricant. Just a small dab on the bottom of the flat spring is all you need. And now I can reinstall my key. And there we are. If the spring tension is too light, you can remove the key and add a little bit more bend to your flat spring. That should tighten up the key a little bit more. And now you're ready to play.